Chris, how you doing? What did you think? That was hard to watch. Um, I, I, my heart really went out to John Fetterman as he struggled uh, watching as he tried to answer that question about his flip flop on fracking was heartbreaking. And I kept thinking as this debate went on how irresponsible it was for Democrats and for Fetterman's family and for the people around him to allow him to proceed into this general election. They had another candidate. Democrats had another candidate. They had Connor Lamb, a congressman from Western Pennsylvania, who I promise you would be ahead in this race. Uh, and they insisted that Fetterman had to march on. He had the stroke before the primary, that he had to stay in the primary, that he had to go through and do this. And what made it even sadder for me was that the argument behind Fetterman's whole candidacy was that Connor Lamb was too moderate, too squishy, uh, not going to stand up for hardcore progressive principles. And I watched John Fetterman struggle to try to flip-flop. He wasn't even delivering on the bold progress. He was disowning Bernie Sanders. He was flip-flopping on all of these issues. And I thought, what a tragedy that he was pushed into this and to make himself drag through this a real tragedy. Do you think we see a big shift in the polls? Yes, no. Absolutely. This was, I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say the word disqualifying because it's America in 2022. Uh, disqualifying isn't a word we use much anymore. But I have to say the very low expectations that we all had for Fetterman and that the campaign set for him, this was well beneath them. Uh, and this is going to cause real hardship for his candidacy. So if you didn't watch, uh, thank you for watching us right now. Let me uh, give you some of the samples of what's going on. Now, we put together a compilation of different times that Mr. Fetterman had to deal with quickly processing uh, a question and giving a cogent answer. Here's a compilation. And how can a man, you know, with, with you know, 10 gigantic mansions, you know, has uh, unwilling to talk about a willing wage for anybody? And I believe they haven't have any businesses being, being, uh, we can't have businesses being subsidized by not paying ind uh, individuals that just simply can't evade to, to pay their own way. Oh. Uh, I, I, I do support fracking, and I don't, I don't, I support fracking, and I stand, and I do support fracking. Now, look, Chris and I uh, are not doctors. I have a neurologist night, uh, tonight to explain, hey, maybe it's not cogency. Maybe it's not processing. Maybe it's just about how you verbalize things. Maybe it will fade with time. All that could be true. Politics is about people knowing what you show. And there is a beauty contest aspect to it, especially when you're on a debate stage and people are going on feel as much as anything that's a matter of fact. Uh, no matter what the expectations were, Chris, this was going to be unsettling for people who are going to vote for John Fetterman. Yeah, and the problem for Democrats in Pennsylvania, they're way ahead in the gubernatorial candidate in the gubernatorial contest because Republicans have picked a s extreme fringe uh, candidate uh, in Doug Mastriano. Right. So you've got a gubernatorial race where the Democrats are ten points ahead, more uh, that the bottom is falling out from Mastriano. So Fetterman has the wind at his back. He's in the it, everything should be lining up for him, and we saw the numbers that he had uh, throughout the race. It doesn't matter what the degree of cognitive, cognitive impairment is for Fetterman. What matters is, can Pennsylvanians picture him being in the United States Senate and being a strong advocate for their commonwealth? That's what matters. Can these voters say, I feel good about this, that he's going to go down there? Frankly, the feeling that I got watching this was, this is not a position this human being should be forced to be in. This is the wrong thing, and Democrats have done the wrong thing, both for their parties, but I, I, hate, to make, I hate to make this so emotional, not just for their party and for their chances in this election, but for that person I saw on the stage, for his family. This is the wrong thing for them. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.